I became a union member in 71, sorry, yes, yep. correct, at freight bases. Yeah. That was a container depot. And then about 75, I was asked to come in and become an organiser with the Stormen and Packers Union then. Yeah. And now it's the National Union of Workers, of course, for amalgamation. Yeah. So, so I've been in a long time. Yeah. Prior to that, I was a shop steward, a delegate on the waterfront for 10 years. Yeah. And then I was a, a shop steward for the PKIU, Print and, and Kindred Union, yeah. for about five years. So in all up, I've been an organiser, straight delegate, shop steward, for over 55 years of my life. I came into the union office from TAA, which is Trans Australia Airlines, in 1978. Yeah. And um, coincidentally, that was the same year as the Lucrative Super Fund was started, and I was able to be involved in the meeting that set that up. I became a delegate in 1975. Yeah. And I was a delegate for nearly just on 30 years. I first started working for the union uh, not long after I joined the union in 66. Yeah. I uh, became involved with the branch committee of management and I was appointed to the state wages board in, back in them days, which covered a man manufacturing chemists, the pharmaceutical industry yeah. in Victoria. I was on that for many, many years. And then uh, in or about uh, in 1980, I, um, I became uh, employed on a permanent basis as welfare officer and work cover officer. And uh, a couple of years after that, I became the, uh, the president. Before I became the president, I became the vice president. I worked all over the place. So yeah. I, I was up in Shepparton and I was up on the border. Yeah. I was down in the Western District. I had city yeah, area was. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, but would you say to me which area did I look after? Well, it was all over the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't really matter to me because I, I wasn't setting up with the union and being one of make a name for myself, I mm. didn't care. Mm, mm. Um, just that the union come out in front. Well, equal pay for women was a big issue. Yeah. Um, wool, wool disputes, um, the weight of bales were yeah. under contest at the time and uh, there was the superannuation breakthrough dispute with mm. Woolworths, um, yeah. which was very historic. For a union official, you've got to be able to move on. Mm. Move on. Mm. Get that blue over, move on, mm. next one. Mm. If, you, if you carry it with you, you, you you're going out of your mind. What did you enjoy most about working? Well, get going out on the job, talking to members, that was me. Yeah. I was pretty good at that, talking to my members, because yeah. I was mainly just a worker myself most yeah. of my life. Yeah. And uh, going out and trying to make their wages better, their conditions better, yeah. which I did in a lot of places. Being able to better the working conditions and the pays of the working class people yeah. by far, that's a very satisfying feeling mm. when you're able to get some breakthroughs and change policies and get yeah. wage rises. There's been a lot of changes and, and it's for the good. It's mm. a shame we can't amalgamate nationally. Mm. We've done a hell of a good job what we've done in the recent time mm. through Charlie Donnelly and mm. the rest of the crew. I think we've been very lucky that we've had some of the, I think any of them might be a bit biased, but I think they're some of the best organisers in any any union around. Yeah. And because of that, their membership is you know, steadily grown and kept on growing. They've had tremendous success over the year in their achievements and uh, I've been very proud to be associated with them.